Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good day everyone, my name is Indra Surya Permana Welcome to the second international conference on Enhanced Research and Industrial Application 2020 or ICERIA Organized by IRSI, Indonesian Researcher and Scientist Institute With my research title, User Intention and Behavior Toward Portable Scanner Application Do Education and Employment Background Moderate the Effect of You Taught Men Theory? First author is me, myself, the second author is Taufik Hidayat, and the third author is Rahutomo Mahardiko. Okay, let's begin. First of all, the rapid development of information technology. Information technology has been instrumental in shaping the world today as it no longer the domain of standalone computational activities. It affects uh, the computer and uh, how people communicate its other. One of the reasons in regard to high economic movement is attributed to the increased productivity from people using their information technology device. Second, the growth of smartphone usage. There are about 5.19 billion people who use smartphones nowadays and in Indonesia with total population of 272.1 million population there are about 338.2 million active connection and the total smartphone ownership reached up to 94% with 171 million active mobile internet user in Indonesia Android is the most used operating system in smartphone it has more than about 72 percent market share it means smartphone especially the ones with Android operating system has become more popular not only worldwide but also in Indonesia the third factor is the shifting of smartphone function nowadays people not only in Indonesia but also in global use their smartphone not only as communication device they use uh, their smartphone as social networking and also to increase their productivity with no exclusion the use of the camera sensor in smartphone as digital portable scanner as we know uh, first of all we know that uh, there are a conventional scanner that created to scan or to reproduce the picture to be used as the document to later usage and then the technology of smartphone and then the technology of scanner becoming smaller and smaller and now with the use of smartphones camera sensor we can increase the productivity throughout their sensor to use as portable digital scanner this is most used apps as digital scanner in play store As I've explained before, why I use only uh, Google Play because more than 70% of total population in Indonesia use smartphone Android. We have here a Google doc, Google Drive document scanner, Microsoft Office Lens, Adobe Scan PDF, and Cam Scanner HD. Here we can see the most downloaded apps is Google Drive. document scanner but it doesn't have to be counted as most used digital scanner one because Google Drive treated not only as digital scanner but also as cloud storage meanwhile the other three apps treated only as digital portable media scanner this is the literature review we've used in our research And then this is the research method. In this method, in this research, we use quantitative method. First of all, we conceptualize the model throughout the theory and previous research, and then we develop the hypothesis to determine the proper algorithm analysis. And the next step is to determine resampling and measurement method, and then we design the path diagram 
and then we design the proper path diagram to estimate all parameters then we evaluate the models uh, and the last two we are testing the hypothesis and we come to the conclusion this research method consisted of publication research observation uh, modeling construction and data collection through the questionnaire we have here uh, extended Utah model that first developed by Venkates et al. We have here about seven X variable or independent variable, namely performance expectancy, effort expectancy, social influence, facilitating condition, and then hedonic motivation, price value, and the habit. And we added some moderation variable namely age gender experiences education and employment this is uh, the extended utah model utah is the unified theory of acceptance and use of technology so as we've explained before this is the variable overview we have here about seven x variable and then one y variable namely intention to use and then we have a z variable namely use behavior and then moderation variable this is the hypothesis we develop first we have about seven hypotheses mainly effect to intention to use and then we have three hypotheses effect to use behavior and then we have about 10 moderating effect as and then we have 10 moderating effect develop and then we have 10 hypothesis for moderating variables okay this is the result first of all we have a respondent demographic uh, as for employment, we have unemployed 5%, employee 30%, entrepreneur 3%, self-employed 5%, and then student 57%. With several education background consisted of uh, male and female respondents. And then this is apps usage. Uh, most of them use these apps less than one year namely for the female about 26% and then for male about 39% and uh, the next one is uh, apps usage between one year to three years and then uh, three to five years and more than five years okay this is the validity and reliability testing we have First of all, the validity and reliability for exogenous and endogenous variable in inner model. And for main variables consisted of independent variable and dependent variable, we have all reliability and validity testing accepted. As for, uh, as for moderation variable, only several model that can be accepted and this is the remove moderation variable due to insufficient values of reliability and validity testing we have uh, first a moderating variable namely age age moderating from habit to intention to use or itu and price value to itu and then gender between a habit to intention to use and for education between intention to use to use behavior and then for employment between intention to use to be use behavior and from price value to intention to use okay this is the result and we use a partially square model with a smart pls3 software to calculate the model and then this is the result for the hypothesis testing we have uh, 
hypothesis 1 3 5 6 7 8 9 10 to 11 uh, accepted and then hypothesis 13 accepted and also hypothesis 17 and 19 okay the first conclusion main factor did have effect to intention to use significantly are performance expectancy social influence hedonic motivation price value and habit while main factor did have effect to use behavior significantly are facilitating condition habit and intention to use this is acceptable because people need not only the performance of their smartphone but also their camera to use as a digital scanner and social influence have effect significantly because some people rely on the review of their relatives for example their colleagues in the office and the others hedonic motivation have also effect significantly because some people also need to express themselves to adopt new technology price value have effect significantly because especially in Indonesia most people consider it uh, the price to before using any new technology as for habit uh, in Indonesia some people have habit to adopt new technology not only for their work productivity but also for example as the review uh, in the internet and the others for use behavior facilitating condition uh, did have effect significantly because for example in the office most people use uh, their camera to scan their document uh, photos uh, etc to increase their productivity and it becomes the habit in their job and the last one is intention to use yes this is acceptable because why would someone use something if they don't have uh, intention to use it especially the new technology adoption and this is the moderating variables that have effect to intention to use first of all edges have effect to from facilitating condition to intention to use from price value to intention to use and from habit to intention to use which means that uh, older people uh, rely on facility price value and the habit the second one is the gender gender moderate effect from facilitating condition and the price value to intention to use why because men and women have different perspective of how they do or how they finish their job most people indeed want to finish their job quickly but they have different point of view how to get their job done and then the education and employment this is the additional variable we've add in our research education only moderate effect from price value to intention to use this is understandable because uh, higher education people uh, usually consider the higher price of app apps means that uh, means better quality of application itself and as for employment uh, it moderate from facilitating condition and performance expectancy and also hedonic motivation to intention to use the new technology or to adopt the new technology so that would be all of my presentation I'm sorry for my mistake I hope we can see each other again on the next international seminar my name is Indra Sura Permana Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh